What up? What up? What up? <clears throat> Ooh, it's your man's The Blood Print. You watching Tay Pain 909 Live. Uh, right now, man, this is going to be like a today. Nothing but hip hop. All hip hop. Man, all four or five topics solely based on hip hop. And man, questions that I have, man, to people that want to answer me uh can can answer me and, and, and i just want i got a few questions and a few uh comments if you will but more more so questions and see how y'all feel out there one question that i have is what is getting bodied on your track or on your own track what actually does that entail because the the main the main dude that 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 people uh go after for this it's Jay-Z. I'll say Jay-Z got bo gets bodied on his own track. Well, two highly known ones was, you know, Renegade with Eminem and uh, the Run, Run This Town with Kanye. Y'all say he got bodied on his own track. People say, I done heard it, that he got bodied on his own track. And he acknowledged it when Angie Martinez asked him, asked him a, while, a while back. He said it was just, okay, twice, two times out of how many. So I want to ask y'all what is actually getting bodied? What is that? Like, and what, is there a difference between getting bodied and then probably doing what you're supposed to do on the track? So what's the, what's the, what's the difference? Me personally, I think that whole Eminem, and the, and the Renegade song, him getting bodied on his own track, really came from the whole uh, ether craze. Everybody wanted to run with that. But I think that's a pure myth. I think, Jay-Z, if you really actually listen to what he's saying, I think more people can relate to what Jay-Z is saying than what Eminem is saying. Because Eminem, you know, now that we look back, and see now, like he really says stuff that's over the top, witty, funny, makes sense, but it really don't relate to you in no way, shape, or form. So I think that's a, just a big myth, just a big, uh, I don't think that was very factual. I think people wanted to go against Jay-Z at that point in time, and then that was, that was it, and, and then... People just ran with it. Um, the Run This Town with Kanye. I mean, that song was, what was he supposed to do? I mean, like, I really don't think, like, it's just some beat. I think, listen, I'm not a rapper, but it's like, I didn't, I didn't seen studio, um, what do you, how you want to call it? Studio. I don't know, studio sessions. And if a tight beat come on, like a like a right beat, the rapper like, oh yeah, I'm going, I'm going in on this one, I'm going in. So I think that's, I mean, I don't even think that was a beat you just finna just go in on, like, oh, I'm finna go in on the Run This Town beat. Like, I just really don't think that's what, you know, that's what was going on there. I think it was a song, they knew it was probably gonna be a single, man, and, he did what he had to do. He didn't have to get all deep and you know, it was just I think it's circumstantial. But I do think Jay Z gets I mean one person that I think that I think really actually that really kind of beat him consistently. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. One person that actually beats him consistently and he they probably go five like five times out of five is Beanie Siegel. To me, Beanie Siegel, actually, you know what I'm saying? I used to listen to a lot of their verses back in the day, man, on, on various albums that they used to have. And Beanie Siegel, man, one, one, one out of two times would get him, would get Jay-Z on a the track they're on together. So, I mean, if you could say that about anybody that's been on the track together as many times, it's Beanie Siegel. And Beanie Siegel is not a slouch by any stretch of the imagination. But 
I want to know from y'all what is getting beat on it. What is getting bodied on the track? When have you known Jay to just get completely bodied on a track featuring somebody? Joe Button, Joe Button. Speaking of which, Joe Button, he didn't body him, but I mean, I must admit, both verses was good, and I'm talking about the Pump It Up remix. That Jay, it was a, really Jay Z's freestyle, and then Joe Button ran behind him, and they called it the remix. But Joe Button actually got Jay Z on that one. Jay Z had a very exceptional verse on there, so. You know, but what would you expect from somebody like Joe Budden? Joe Budden is actually a lyricist. Joe Budden is nice. Like, let's not get it twisted. I know y'all don't like his antics from the past couple of years, but Joe Budden is actually a spitter. He actually spits. He actually spit with the best of them. So I think sometimes you just get a little carried away with the whole thing. But how do y'all feel about getting body? probably doing what you're supposed to do to a track, not really overdoing it. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know, and I'll holler back. What's the layup? Peace out.